What's up guys? So it has been a long time, and today we are not actually on Revival, we are on Lazo's server, God Exile. So, uh, yeah, he just released a server, I believe it actually releases today, uh, the 12th Friday, right? I believe, I hope. Um, but yeah, we're on it a little bit early, and uh, yeah, I figured we'd just check it out. This is the nice little tutorial, just kind of like briefly go through everything here, and then we'll just kind of take a look around at home location, just kind of see how the server feels how it uh, layout so i believe if i'm not mistaken um got uh, lazo really likes uh, the old impscape servers i don't know if this is what you would call that i'm not i'm not really sure what you, what you would call it but i i remember it was, i think it was impscape at one point in time um so if you're ever familiar with those kind of servers then you would probably like this one has um you know the things you'd expect you know iron man mode we'll just keep everything normal right now we'll just go normal 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 not mess with any game mode stuff or anything but a uh, nice little uh, tutorial i've been noticing a lot of servers actually do use tutorials which is interesting to me because when you know with unrevival i, I felt like no one ever liked tutorials so it kind of just made it as easy as possible to to get through it so i, I don't know how most people feel like I, I assume like if you play a private server you know how to play runescape so like teaching you how to like kill stuff is kind of pointless but just kind of like showing you around like the server where you would like look up things. Is this food? Yeah. So this is like the kind of server where like you get a whip. That's like a huge deal. I don't know like in terms of like what it has. Like like I don't know if this has Nex and Torva. It probably doesn't. Oh, it's a cool cape. Little little mod cape. Also it's got some customs wings. It's a cool little lantern right there. But, yeah, I don't think it has, like, Torva or Mazori or anything like that. It's a little more old-school feel to it. Home location seems to be Barbarian Village. You can see the shops are more realistic down to Earth. So this is, like, one of those kind of servers you think you might like. Um, but definitely come check it out. You know, people who play my servers are generally kind of used to, to like, you know, slower, more realistic servers. So you, you should be pretty good with that. But let me uh, just kind of check around these shops real quick. I'll see if I sh find anything interesting. Teleports, I believe we're just gonna, yeah, we just have normal teleports and you get around like you'd expect. There's like different settings for your clients and stuff like that too. That's just this is just the way I have it. All right, well, I think we've got ourselves a nice little introduction to the home location. I can't imagine there's gonna be any any more crazy shops or anything like that. It's, uh, his servers are always very down to reality. So you can find a donator zone, food potions. Okay, yeah, so you can see like it's. It's definitely one of those servers where it's going to be rewarding if you progress. Um, let's see, quest to... Oh, okay, so this is where you can teleport, right here. Okay, cool. Is there actually a quest? Oh, I assume he just did that. He just gave that to me. Collection long, that's cool. Um, some bandos. Oh, that's a banshee. Banshee drops bandos. Wow. That's cool. Dragon off mother, that's interesting. Yeah, so definitely older school feel mystery box. Oh wow, so you can complete the collection lock for mystery box. That's pretty cool. I um I'm a big fan of like servers that have collection logs and like stuff like that where you can complete them. I know we had one on revival, it's just, you know, wasn't wasn't always the, the greatest. Where did I teleport to? I thought I clicked like Legit, where did how did I get here? Oh, did I go down that? I went down that dun that ladder at home, huh? I uh, I don't know why I can't figure out this spell book. Oh, is this before? Do you, there's not even a home teleport. That's interesting. I suppose Barbarian Village. Yeah, that's 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 the home teleport quest tab. I remember the days when quest tab was like, no, it wasn't quest tab. Do you, you remember like the old private server days where the music tab? Not even this music tab, it was the old style of music tab, where that had like all your tele- Or no, it was the emo emo it was emotes. I think it was both of them combined into one, I don't remember, but... Basically the emotes, like, they, they didn't have these, like, pictures, it just said, like, the text. It would say, like, clap, or dance, or whatever. And people would just change those names to, like, teleports. And that was how people teleported, like, you'd laugh, and instead of laughing, it would teleport you. Good old days. If you're, if you're, if you're somebody who remembers those days, then you'd probably like a server like this. We claimed the membership he gave me. I don't really know what that means, but we have time to. Ooh, can we? Oh, all oh, right, the shop, the shop. I remember the donator shop here. Let's see if there's anything cool we can buy. Covered. Let's take a look at it first. 
Uh, weaponry, I guess, right? Whips, call it whips. Ooh, dragon whip, sign whip, orange whip, barrels whip, dragon style, okay. I guess I should check. Okay, so we can buy some stuff, cool. Let's buy, uh, let's, you know, let's buy dark wings and we should get a weapon. Let's go scion whip. Bam, I assume I can wear these now. Not the whip, though. Okay, cool. That's cool. Got a little wings. Let's check that. The other one was just party hats and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, that's interesting. The wings actually go on your body, not not the cape slot. Do they have stats? Oh, they do. Okay. All right, cool. So they do have stats. I mean, I, mean, I guess that makes sense if it's going to go on your melee body. But then that kind of like... Yeah, I guess, yeah, I need to maybe a makeover mage and change the, the color of my top. <laughs> oh, no, I died. <laughs> Rip. Uh, yeah, just trying to do some training in Taverly. Uh, yeah, this, 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 this was, this was how I got to Taverly. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to talk too much about Revival, but it does feel wrong to not mention it at all. So, yeah, it's obviously still something we want to work on. Um, I've been really busy in real life. I'll probably make a more proper video just talking about all of that, but... Um, let me know if you'd like to see some stuff on other servers. Like, I know back in the day I used to do server shenanigans uh, at the same time as running a server. I used to just randomly check out other servers. I stopped doing it because I felt like I was just, you know, like it just looked weird to play other servers while I was running my own. And then obviously you run the risk of playing a server that people like more than yours and then they all... But yeah, like you could, you know, run a server and they might end up liking it more and leave your server to go play, you know, play that one. Um, but I could also have the opposite effect where, like, let's say you play a popular server and then I go, okay, well, back to videos on my server and I do a couple videos on my server and the people are like, oh, okay, he has his own server or maybe they like my server better and they decide to join that. So, like, it, it could have benefits and it could have negatives. I don't really know. Um, but I, I think, like, more like more than anything, I think it could get me back into servers and it at least gives people something to watch. Because I know, like, when I did make videos consistently... I would get more views than I would ever get players. So I assume there was people who were like interested in just watching the videos, but never interested in playing the servers. Um, so maybe like if I did more different servers, they would either um, be tempted to maybe play those, or just you know would just enjoy watching videos on different things. So I don't know. I've just been trying to get back into the mood of things, and then uh, coincidentally, Lazo messaged me saying that his server was finally ready to come out. You know, he's he's been like he's like me, where he's always working on servers, just trying to get something going. So. Hopefully this one uh, will, you know, stick and we'll see some success for it. Um, Alright, for now I'm just going to keep training. It's pretty slow, so I don't expect to get our whip immediately or anything like that. I just kind of want to mess around. How do we get PK points? I wonder if that's... Do we die and get PK points for killing ourselves or something? I don't know. Alright, let me just keep training a little bit and I'll resume when I try to move on to something else. So if you go to Alcarid Teleport, there's actually a really nice place to train. You can just kill the little awkward warriors and then heal up right here with her. We did just buy a bunch of food, but eh. We'll just save that for later. But yeah, let me do a little bit more on training here. Also going to be giving away two donator tokens, so you can buy whatever you want from the shop. So yeah, let me know. Uh, just put your username in the description below. I don't like doing giveaways because I hate having to like <laughs> keep track of the giveaway and like give the person the stuff. And I feel like a lot of times what ends up happening is people will like leave their name and then they'll win and have completely forgotten they ever even entered the giveaway. We'll never reply back or we'll never accept their stuff. So if you do enter the giveaway, please reply back if you win it. <laughs> uh, looks like there's about to be a update. Probably just some fixes or something like that. I can't imagine it's anything crazy. Fun, touching. true, true. So yeah, that'll do it for the video. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely come check this server out. If you like slower paced, more realistic, you earn everything you get kind of servers, this is definitely gonna be one you're gonna like. And as you saw from all those customs, like, a lot of those ones weren't even in the donator store or anything like that, so they've got to be dropped by some random monster. I wanted to get to the point where, like, I could kill some banshees or something, because that'd be really crazy if we just randomly get something bandos, but, uh, alas, no. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.